In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our cinematic style library to quickly create cinematic text in Premiere Pro. So when you download the cinematic style library, it's going to show up as a .zip file. Simply double click on the .zip file and you'll get a folder. Drop down the folder and the first thing you're going to want to do is double click on the PDF and go in and download each font. Each one of these fonts will be used to create a unique cinematic style, so you'll need to download all of them. After you've downloaded them onto your computer, simply go to Premiere Pro. And we're gonna create a new title, so go to the Create New button and select Title. We'll call this Title 1, that's fine. And go ahead and click on the Title Styles menu and go down to Replace Style Library. Now, by default, you'll have this working set.prsl file. What we're going to do is go to our cinematic style library and select the .prsl file included in the download and click OK. After you hit OK, you'll see all of the cinematic styles already loaded onto your computer. To use them, simply create a new title, we'll call this new title, and select the style that you want. Let's say we want this style right here. Just double click and then we can go in and just center it up and scale it up maybe about like that and I'm gonna hit command C to copy and command V to paste we'll drag this secondary title up and we'll call this secondary text and then select just kind of one of these spaced out smaller text here and scale down the font size it's right about there and we'll just move it right down on top so now we have this cinematic style text I'll go ahead and X out and drag it onto our timeline so this title is looking good, but cinematic titles typically have some sort of light elements in them. So I'm going to use a clip from the Radium pack over at Rocketstock.com. Radium is a beautiful pack of anamorphic lens flares shot in 4K. There really aren't any lens flares as beautiful as the ones found in Radium. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this lens flare onto our sequence, and I'm going to select it, go to the effects controls up here, Go to Opacity and change the blending mode to Linear Dodge. So now if we play this back, you can see that we've quickly created some cool cinematic titles. Alright, and that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy this free pack from Rocketstock.com. And of course, if you ever have any questions, please go check out the blog post over at Rocketstock.com.